up guys, I'm Thomas McRocklin and today I'm delighted to show you some of my patches for the GT1000. So let's begin right at the top, the first patch, the gain patch. If you haven't got a good overdriven sound, what's the point in any of this? <laughs> So it just has enough gain so when you back off the volume pop it, it really responds great. Listen to this. Let's move on to the hype clean patch. This one's a little bit funky because normally you don't have reverb followed by compression, but I have a track called Square Dreams and that's exactly how I produce that track. So the idea is you really squash down on the reverb and you kind of get this explosion like sound. So let's have a listen. <laughs> That's a fun part. So another sound that I really love to use in my tracks and Instagram posts is shimmers. Now I think I've dialed in a pretty cool shimmer. <laughs> Alright, so moving on to the drive part. kind of on the edge patch you don't really need a boost to kind of go to lead sound <laughs> cool without any extra drive um, but it's tight enough that all the kind of chugging and stuff like that just comes through really cool love that sound moving on to the split clean <laughs>
have just a really good clean in, uh, in general actually. Um, in particular, I really like those two and four positions, so if you have a five way switch, uh, that split sounds just really spanky. And it's, just, it's just got enough compression and drive that everything's got a lot of life to it, so it's a really cool sound. <laughs> Let's move on. Killer Crunch. So this is another variation on one of the kind of rhythm sounds. A little bit more scooped, a little bit more aggressive. Uh, this type of sound is perfect for like double tracking. It's just really good at filling big spaces. <laughs> Again, just the right amount of gain, so if you want to go into a lead sound, I don't think you really need to kind of reach for that boost or anything like that. You've just got a tight enough sound that kind of caters that fine line between solo and rhythm, but great for double track, and I've double tracked this sound a couple of times. It just sounds so, so just massive when it's like double tracked and panned left and right. Instant wall of sound, so enjoy the uh, killer crunch. <laughs> Let's move on. So the Jugar patch actually has two tones in one, and I use the control to jump in between them. So the idea is the cleans from the, the sort of track. <laughs> Um, are there and when I need to jump into a lead sound I just hit that control switch <laughs> So Jagar, if you're not familiar, it's a track by my band McRocklin and Hutch. It's a really kind of mellow track that has some really cool lead lines and stuff, and it's really important that that lead sound really sings, and in this case I think the patch in the, the GT1000 did a great job at kind of delivering that mid-range bite that was really important for that solo to cut through in the context of the rest, the rest of the track. So one other detail that I use in a lot of these patches is I tend to use the expression pedal for two purposes. It slightly reduces the volume but also increases the reverb. So when I'm playing tracks by McRock and Hutch, when I'm kind of doing more background lead sounds, when I hit that um, expression pedal down, it gives the guitar just to kind of get out of the way a little bit of the main track. So let's have a listen to how that actually sounds uh, in the real world. So. <laughs> that we, we can push it back into the distance, bring the guitar forward. And for the McRocklin Hutch stuff, I think that's a real, it's something that we do in software a lot and being able to replicate that with the GT1000 for live shows was perfect. So one of my favorite sounds of all time is that real low gain type of sound. So this is the low gain patch. I find low gain stuff really great for writing, um, working on his technique and stuff. <laughs>
broke the string right off the fret set. But you get the idea, right? You get a lot more dynamics in your playing when you have a little bit more of a reduced gain. <laughs> dig into those strings, really able to kind of push the strings hard, and make the guitar work harder, and the amp is just at that point where it's giving you saturation, but it's doing you no favours. But it's a great sound, and it's a type of sound that I use in a track called New Beginnings as well, which is much more stripped, stripped back. <laughs> The tight tight patch. So with this one, again, it's perfect for double tracking. It doesn't take up a lot of bandwidth in the track. So if you've got a really busy track, this is a perfect rhythm sound for that. <laughs> Everything's just as it should be. All right, so the tenth and final sound in the pack is the bite clean sound. Similarly to the low gain, this is kind of the opposite of that where it's more of a pushed clean. So it works really well for getting chordal stuff to really pop through a mix, or if you just don't want something that's so clean that just has no kind of grit or sort of bite to it.
versatile totally inspiring patch love that because you can go through some really light lead stuff as you change pickups and the cleans on the two and four split positions are just kind of really just delightful really that's a lot of reallys <laughs> So as I've changed through different guitars here, I've given you a taste of different pickups, different types of guitars. These pickups are passive, for example, where the other two guys were Fishman active pickups. So this pack works really well with different types of pickups, different types of guitars. So hope you enjoy it. I've been Thomas McRocklin. If you want to see more of me, you can catch me on Instagram at McRocklin. And if you want to take your guitar playing to the next level, I've recently launched a guitar school. It's called School of McRock. You can catch that at schoolofmcrock.com. Have fun, guys, and I'll catch you soon. Take it easy.